Hello YouTube, welcome back to Learning Life and Loving Radio Scanners. I'm your host, Tommy Cunningham. In today's video, but I would like to talk to you guys a little bit about, it's about what are my thoughts on the Radio Scanner reference page on looking around at two different stuff. The two different counties that I've been to. Sevier and the other county we are going to look at is Jefferson. Actually, first I'm going to use Jefferson as an example. Jefferson County, Kentucky. I mean, Jefferson County, Tennessee, because this place, honestly, to let you guys know, has some of the best radio frequencies. I think they got all around. So the first radio frequency I see on here is 460.475. That's my usual one that I usually put in. And sometimes I put this 460.0625, which is their countywide, uh, countywide dispatch, which I think that frequency right there is a really good one if you guys like to listen to fire dispatch and stuff like that. Now, the thing that doesn't get me on on this one, on the Blunt County one, is that they got share backup on that exact same frequency. They actually use that here in Bloomington as as a frequency for over there at Cook Medical, which I think honestly is really kind of interesting. Plus, if we look around the, uh, the Dan County area, this is the county of Wisconsin. And this county honestly gives out some of the bestest radio stuff. To me, I think they do. Because you guys got Dan Fire Tech 1, Dan Fire Tech 2. You guys also got Madison Area Hospitals. Now, if we go down here to their hospitals, and this one's for you, Haley. So, if we go down here and look at St. George Hospital. I mean, yeah, St. George. Hello. So if we look at the array of, for, I mean, St. Mary's. So if we click on there, they got like security, Ops 2, and Ops 72. This is all on an NXD system which I think their system needs to be updated to like a system that we use. So like the Hokushama Gaming in Madison, they use an NXD on Icon IDEX Type D, which surprisingly, just to let you guys know, which I think is really interesting, and everything should be on that system. And the Dane County Regional Airport, all their all their radio channels there are encrypted from going on up from channel one, going on down to channel ten. All those are like encrypted, which I think is really interesting. You guys got like American Family Insurance, which I don't know why. Don't ask me. They got security, they got food service, Ops 7, maintenance, and Ops 10, which I think is really kind of neat about that one. Now their bus system, which I think is really kind of interesting, it's called the Dane County Buses. And this, for, this is on there their primary background, which is on their, their main, which I think is really interesting. They got like 
all the way down here, if I could find it. Oh, that's where it's up here. Madison got their own area transit, which I think is really kind of interesting. Now, Madison City actually got their own police department. They got their Fireman Green. They got Dane County TAC-1, which I think is really interesting on that one. So if we go to, come on, the Madison City Services, and when you look at their bus system here, which luckily I know where that's at because I've been doing some looking around on stuff that I'm wanting to talk about today. So if we look at their jail, they got a juvenile detention with two juvenile detentions, which I'm surprised, which is not encrypted, which I'm surprised on that very much. Now they also got fire station one alerting, fire station two, all the way down to fire, fire, fire all stations alerting, which I think is really interesting on their end. So like they also got a pair transit, which uses 31111. Now this is what that sounds like. That was just 170.076, which I think is their transit dispatch. But don't hold me down on that. That was just an example. So if we go to the flights to and from Knoxville at McGee Tyson International Airport. This is the one that I've been looking at for myself. So they got like a lot, strangely this area, it's not allowed to have casinos, which I think is really kind of interesting because Tennessee has the biggest law on casinos, which I have ever seen. So like the Tennessee Hotel, they got like packages, they got dining, they got hotel policies, which I imagine this tells me about the special events and football 30 day cancellation fee, full deposit, room and tax. They also got, this is all on their terms and conditions. Got to click on their hotel policies, which that's what that is. So if we go to their, um, their explore, they go to like a local. They got like Market Square, they got Maple Hill, they got Public House. Now going on down to, uh, Family activities, they got the Moose, they got the McCollin Museum, they also got the Museum of Art. Other outdoor ventures is the Greenway, House Mountain. Wow, I did not know. They also got Maple Hill, uh, which a lot of this which I'm kind of surprised that the Strymal Spears on here because honestly their Rio frequencies are really kind of interesting because this place is part of a World Day Park. So if we type in World Fair Park, this is what that looks like. This is like their football games and stuff. This is like what they use. So they also got the buddy lock coming up there, which I think is really kind of interesting because I don't do the buddy walk anymore, strangely. So like going on up here, looking around, they also got contact information, events, this trial spear, I mean the sun spear. Authorization to fourth level reopen. 
for 360 degree. You guys can click here to visit purchase tickets. Now going on down, we got the Strasbourg rules. Don't dispose uh, pet friendly. No one's beyond the glass railing. Park rules are, vehicles are not allowed. Electronic scooters, keep pets on leash. No swimming or dining in the lake. That's got parking. That's got security, which they got park patrol, which uses 865 number. Oh, uh, that's everything on that one. That's got like the amplifier. They get the production lawn. We go to their about section. Park rules are Contact Park Patrol, possession of firearms or weapons not allowed. Please all public building. The public building authority would be the person that you guys send an email to if you guys do like different stuff there. They also got this on the Knoxville page which I think is really interesting. They got on here, but no film permits. So they probably don't, they probably do allow media. You just have to send it to their telecommunications or your property management. They got a couple on here, which I think is really interesting. They got executive office, they got finance, property management, property development, security, telecommunications, and cross preparedness. Now they also got on their homepage, um, and I typed this in earlier today on my YouTube, which if you guys haven't seen my YouTube video, it'll be at the end sometime. Um, don't worry, I won't forget to put it on this video, so please make sure you guys are, are following along with my YouTube. If you guys have any questions, please make sure you guys give it like, like different stuff by emailing me at Tom, oops, at, on the comments below. If you guys are new to, to my YouTube channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, ding that notification bell if you guys need any information. All right, guys, that's it. Have a great day in YouTube. I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Have a great night. And so far, tonight's been a good day. I went out for barbecue, and I've been playing my Grand Theft Auto. Have a great day, and I will see you guys tomorrow.